The ancients taught, and I loved it when I came across this, the ancients taught there's only one disease that can ever exist in the human body. One. That's it. No mystery. No nothing. And if you go online in today's technologies and look up how many human diseases are there, depending on the medical website you go to and check out, it'll say, oh, there's 15,000 human diseases. Others will say, no, there's 20,000. There's some that even say 26,000. <laughs> and so I just want to share with you the absolute truest truth. When things are complex and it's pushed on you, it's probably a lie. It's probably wrong. It's all simple to understand, and the ancients knew it. And <clears throat> so they knew the only disease that can exist in the human body is the loss of the two forces of nature called expansion and contraction. And they knew it's like that on this earth. They knew that our atmosphere expands and contracts. When it expands, it's summer. When it contracts, it's winter. And they knew the oceans expand and contract. And even the planet around the planets around the sun. This planet, and it's been even embraced and put out there by astrophysicists, our planet going around the sun expands in its orbit and contracts. And it goes from an elliptical into a spherical. And when it's elliptical, the planet cools off. And so they came out and said, oh, we're going into an ice age. We're going to freeze. You've got to buy this and this and this and this and this and be prepared for an ice age. That's what they were teaching when I was a kid. Yep. Oh, my God. And now we're in global warming. Ooh. And they say it's because too many cows are farting. He <laughs> says, shut up, people. It's back into a spherical orbit around the sun. And they know that it warms up when it's that close, and then it'll cool off again, you know. Anyway, but it's, our it's a predictable bodies, pattern, that's what it, you're saying. It is, yeah. expansion and contraction. <laughs> and our bodies work the same way. Your eyelids expand and contract. Your nose expands and contracts. Your mouth expands and contracts. Your lungs expand and contract. All of the intestines expand and contract. It's called the peristaltic action. And it moves the foods out the door. That's the back door. <laughs> you put it in the front door, it goes out the back door. <laughs> and even the heart expands and contracts. And so the bloodstream expands and contracts. Anyway, all 10,000 trillion cells of the human body expand and contract. And the only disease that can exist in the human body is when the expansion and contraction is messed up. If due, the due to what? What's that? Due to what, for example? What does it get uh, messed up by? Typically, what creates it is you're either toxic or you're deficient. And we'll get into that here in just a second. But that expansion and contraction, when it's overexpanded, they call it in today's medical world, inflammation, meaning expansion. And then they can say that it's contracted, it's blocked, it's, you know, blah, blah. So the contraction is too much. And you got to get it back into balance. All 10,000 trillion cells in the human body expand and contract, and they build the body organs. And so all of the organs expand and contract, even your urinary tract and everything. They all do.